today I'll be taking off this tire and replacing it with a bow. That's going to power a motor right here. And then it's going to end up powering a battery. And that battery is going to end up powering, you know, anything you want. Since the radius of this tire was around 11 and a half inches, I created a 13 inch piece of wood to suspend it off the ground. So now that I screwed the stands together, I made a box made out of 2x4s to support them. Behind the box, I attached the board so that I could screw the motor in place. So we replaced the tire on this wheel with a fan belt that goes around it. So th that way, when someone pedals this bike, it will turn the fan belt, which is attached to this motor as well, and it will turn the motor. The motor has a red cable and a black cable. Now this is very important. Don't connect the red cable directly to the battery. You need a diode, which controls the flow of electricity so that it only flows from the motor to the battery and not in reverse. With the diode in place, connect the red cable. And whenever the battery is low, hop on the bike, burn some calories while creating energy. And that's how you build an electricity generator using a bicycle.